welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to share with you some of the makeup products that i've been using for a very long time and these are products that i usually go back to whenever um you know like i feel like no other product is working i always go back to these products now um i do have makeup uh, stuff here i have one skincare stuff but i don't really have foundation or concealer because i don't usually um have a lot of preference when it comes to foundation or concealer but i will still mention a few that i have tried here and there that is really good um so if you want to know uh, all these products then please keep watching and mostly everything's very affordable uh, if you are college student and all of that this will be a uh, good option these are products that i've also used on other people so i know it works really well on other people as well um and most of these products can be used by dry skin or oily skin girls so let's start okay so the first product that i love putting under my uh face is this dermacos hyaluronic acid it has hyaluronic acid and ceramides now this Now this particular serum sits under makeup really well. Usually um on me I love using the Nutriderms moisturizer that also sits really well. But nowadays I've started using hyaluronic acid on my face a lot because I'm going through some changes. So I love using the serum. This sits really well under your makeup and your makeup looks really gorgeous and if you are someone who um has extremely dry skin then this will suit you really well now for primer this you can say is one of my holy grails because i always always come back to this i've used this on a lot of people i'm really sorry for the noise guys i've used this on a lot of people it suits everyone and i absolutely love it i've used a lot of primers but i still come back to this because I love how it makes your skin feel and it instantly brightens your skin and this is the Lakme's Absolute Blur Perfect Makeup Primer. I absolutely love this product. I always always come back to this because this is one of those primers that is not very silicone. I don't like silicone based primers. It is not very silicone but it feels like pearls on your skin. and i absolutely love it and it removes the your, the shine of your skin completely now again i'm not a very foundation or a lot of concealer kind of a girl but on days when i want to look a little put together i love going back to this product i've used it for years for years and i absolutely love it is this lakme's 9 to 5 weightless mousse foundation my shade is a rose honey it's a very moussey consistency and um, even if you have dry skin you can absolutely use it but you will have to make sure to um, moisturize really well after that uh, at first when you apply it it seems like you um, like the shade might be a little too lighter for you but this settles into the skin really well and uh, after a few um, maybe after a few minutes it just blends with your skin this almost gives your face like a really instant fresh look and whenever i don't have a lot of time and i don't want to do a lot of things i just apply this i really like this product i've gone back to it i've bought so many of these products of this particular mousse foundation that um you know they should just make me the brand ambassador for it next for blush this product has been one of the first blushes that i bought and i absolutely love it it doesn't show up much on camera but in real life if you are someone like me who doesn't like a very evident blush and likes to look like it's it's you know your your skin is just flushed and uh you're just blushing from within then this is a very nice blush this is the maybelline's color show uh blush in the shade uh, creamy cinnamon this is how the blush looks now of course you might think it's a little lighter again i have used this on deeper complexions and it looks very natural and very nice and another blush that i've been liking lately is this blue heavens lip and cheek a uh, tint kiss and blush in the shade muted peach 
Now, both these blushes are peach. I'm a peach blush kind of a girl because I think this shade suits Indian skin tones really well. Now, um, just for the video purposes, I'm going to use two different blushes on both the sides to just show you guys how it looks. I'm just going to use a big kabuki brush. I really love this creamy cinnamon. It doesn't show up much on camera for some reason, but in real life, it just looks so beautiful. And I don't even think this is that expensive. So this is what creamy cinnamon looks like. I'm not sure if you guys can like see it, but. No, you don't have to layer it. I'm just layering it because it's not showing up on camera. And then other side, I'm just going to use. So this is just both the blushes. One is cream and the other one is powder. Really um, absolutely like it. This I've used for many, many, many years. Like, I don't know. I think I must have bought about five or six of them because that's how much I love it. And for some reason, I keep losing these. So that's why... Um, I keep it and in fact on some days when I'm in a hurry I just take it and I just apply it directly like that and just blend it with my fingers and I'm good to go. So the next one is a bronzer highlighter. Now this one that I like is very very cheap very affordable but one of the br most brilliant products I've come across is this Meon's Studio Cheek and Contour Palette. Now this particular palette I think suits a very big range of uh, skin tones. I have used this on lighter complexion that is lighter than me and I've also used this on deeper complexions and it looks very nice. The formulation is extremely smooth. I absolutely love it and it also has one universal shade of highlighter which uh, complements a lot of skin tones. I've actually put, I've washed all my brushes and everything's still wet so I'm just going to use the same thing. I'll just show you guys how the bronzer works it just blends like so easily it's like butter just swatching this i i absolutely love it of course it's going to look different on both the sides because i'm using it on completely two different formulations of blush but this is how natural it looks let me just show you like a finger swatch that's just one swipe and it is very very buttery feel it gives you a lot of um what am i saying it gives you this butter feel it just is so nice and next we'll just use the highlighter the highlighter is pretty intense so if you are not very fond of intense highlighters i will give you another option and if you have been following me you'll know what is the other option so this is the highlighter and this one palette is more than enough if you are on a budget to just meet all your needs i also use the darker um shade for my eyes and i will show you guys in a minute but for highlighter i don't know why i lose products right in front of me is this wet n wild face face primer this is actually a primer but i use it as a highlighter because this product is just next level when it comes to making your skin look like it's glowing from within i'm just going to use this on my chin It has no chunks of glitter. It has, it's just 
so beautiful and if i have to be honest this is what i use whenever i am wanting to look natural or like i have nothing on my face this is how natural this product looks of course it's a primer i've never used this as a primer i always use this as a highlighter and i honestly think they should this is photo focus face primer i honestly think they should bring this out as a highlighter because it is just so beautiful in real life it looks so gorgeous and <clears throat> and on camera it just looks really nice and i absolutely love it next product is a loose powder and again it's a very affordable product and honestly from the time i started using this i have stopped using my max compact powder or any other powder this is the stay quirky's loose powder um it doesn't have any other details on it i think i just lost it but it is a yellow based powder now again you might think that it's yellow so this might not suit a lot of skin tones but that's not true it suits a lot of skin tones and it also looks very natural like you can also bake with this i'm just going to use a little bit just to show you guys how this product works it just gives your face a very natural finish it doesn't cake up on your skin that is what i like i don't like products that look and feel caked up as you can see it just melts into your skin and i really like this from the time i started using this i have never gone back to any other uh, powder they also have one slightly on the pinkish tone this is suitable for people with pink undertones who are really really fair but if you have yellow undertones if you're deeper in complexion and all of that this product is more than enough to use this darker shade on my eyes just to give it some depth so you know if you're traveling you do not need to carry a lot of products and you don't need a lot of high end products to do good makeup just few good products and you're good to go that's it so you see with this one palette you could use it as you can also use this as a powder you can use this as a eye shadow palette you can use this for highlighter and you can use this for bronzing and contouring which is amazing now when it comes to lipstick i've used so many lipsticks out there high end really affordable but one lipstick that i always go back to is the lacme 9 to 5 uh, weightless uh matte mousse lip and cheek color i think the whole uh, weightless um series is just amazing but why i like this is because on some days i have just carried one lipstick and i've been able to use this on my cheeks on my eyes and on my lips all together i love the formulation of these lipsticks they feel really light and if you are not a lip licker then this stays on for a very long time and feels extremely light on your lips
the shade i have used is a uh, rosy plum now one thing that i like about these lipsticks is you can just dab it and make it look like an everyday just like a lip tint or you can just apply it directly and make it look like a nice intense lip color the color payoff also is really good these are also quite i don't know it's been a while but i have um had almost all the colors in this lipstick this is one range that i actually went and bought all the colors with because i absolutely loved the formulation of this so if you want you can use this on your eyes on your cheeks and it'll just pull your entire uh look together it'll make it look like one monotone look and i really like that about this now eyeliner i'm not very particular but one mascara that i absolutely love is the l'oreal paris's voluminous lash paradise it's a waterproof mascara i'm not going to apply it now because my my eye has been a little irritated so um i'm not going to show you a demo of this but this is one mascara i always come back to and whenever i want um to have that falsies wala look this is what i do you just have to curl your lashes and apply two or three coats and you're good to go the only downside of this mascara is that it is a little difficult to remove off but other than that in pictures and in real life this looks really nice the wand is pretty unique and it separates your lashes really well and that is what i like about it i've also made a review on this you guys can check it out but i really always come back to this mascara no matter how many mascaras i have i always come back to this mascara because this mascara is really good and if you are not someone who likes applying false lashes but you like the way false lashes looks on makeup you should definitely try this this is a little on the pricier side i think about 700 or 800 i'm not sure but it is a very good product now lastly coming to setting spray again i'm not going to use this because i'm just i'm i've stopped using setting spray from the time i got pregnant just the idea of inhaling it i do not like it so i've used a lot of setting spray you name it i've used it i've used max fix plus in fact i have like a travel size fix plus i've used pack i've used many other um makeup fixing sprays but one spray that i swear by and whenever someone is getting married or you know they need some suggestion when it comes to makeup setting spray this is what i say this is the nyx matte finish long lasting setting spray now they also have a dewy one so um you know on winter in in winters when your skin is really uh, dry you can use the dewy one but i always prefer the matte one because once you apply this you your your good for the evening your makeup will just not move your makeup will look fresh the entire night no matter how much of dancing you did or how much of sweating you did and even when you sweat just dabbing it your sweat is gone but your makeup will not move and that's how much i like this i really like this i don't know the price i don't think it is very pricey but it is a small bottle you can carry it if you are attending a friend's wedding and all of that you can carry it but i swear by these makeup uh, setting sprays these are so good i use the dewy one on days when my makeup is too matte and i want to add some glow that is when i use that i have that also but i don't know where it is now but on um, special occasions like you're attending someone's wedding your wedding whatever it is i like using the matte one because once you apply this your makeup is set you just have to fan yourself or maybe stand under the fan and once the uh, spray dries you are set you are good to go it will not move at all so that's it guys uh, that's it for today's video now it does not mean that i do not like a lot of other products i do like a lot of other products but these are products that i completely have my confidence in and i always come back to these products because on days when i I'm not in the mood to try out anything and I want to make sure that my makeup looks good and lasts long these are the products I come to and these are extremely affordable and you like just having these products you will realize that you don't need to have too many products because these products will do the job of many other uh, products too so yeah I will leave the link to all of these products in the description box you can check it out and uh, i will meet you guys in my next video until then bye